Okay, so welcome to Math Storia and let's have this topic. Solving for quartile, decile, and percentile for group data. So we have this given class interval and the frequency. So first, we need to find the total frequency. So that's N. So just add all these numbers. So we have 4 plus 8 plus 7 plus 9 plus 6 plus 11 so the total frequency is 45 so n is equal to 45 then solve for the lower class boundary so to get this lower class boundary so from this uh, lower limit minus 0.5 so therefore, this 16 minus 0.5, that's 15.5. 21 minus 0.5, that's 20.5. Then 26 minus 0.5, that's 25.5. 31 minus 0.5, that's 30.5. 36 minus 0.5, that's 35.5. And 41 minus 0.5, that's 40.5. Then for the last column, the less than cumulative frequency. So to find the value of this less than cumulative frequency, so you need to write first the frequency of the first class. That's 4. Then do the running sum. So we have 4 plus 8. That's 12. Then 12 plus 7, that's 19. Then 19 plus 9, that's 28. Then 28 plus 6, that's 34. Then 34 plus 11, that's 45. So the last number of the cumulative frequency must be equal to the total frequency. So we're done with the table, so we can solve now the quartile, decile, and the percentile. So if we want to find the third quartile, so using this formula, the quartile 3 is equal to the lower class boundary of the quartile class plus the class interval times k times n over 4 for quartile minus the less than cumulative frequency preceding over the frequency of the quartile class. So first, we need to find or locate this quartile class. So using this condition that less than CF is greater than K times N over 4 for the first time, so we need to solve first the value of this k times n over 4. Since we need to find the quartile 3, so therefore k is equal to 3 times n. n is 45, then divide by 4. So we have 3 times 45, then equals, then divide by 4. That's 33.75. So K times N over 4 is equal to 33.75. Then we need to compare this value to less than CF. And again, less than CF is greater than K times N over 4 for the first time. So if less than CF is equal to 4, so 4 is not greater than 33.75, then this 12, so 12 is not greater than 33, 19 is not greater than 33.75, 28 is not greater than 33.75, so 34, so 34 is greater than 33.75, so therefore, this class is the quartile class. So from this quartile class, so we can solve now this third quartile. 
So using this formula, we have this the LCB of the quartile class. So this is the LCB and the LCB of the quartile class. That's 35.5 plus the class interval. So the distance between the two classes. So from 16 to 21. So the distance is 5 because 16 plus 5 that's 21 and 21 plus 5 that's 26 so 5 is the class interval so plus 5 times this k times n over 4 that's 33.75 then minus this less than cf preceding so less than cf of the class above your quartile class so therefore above so this one is the less than cf preceding so that's 28 then over the frequency so the frequency of the quartile class that's 6 so from this equation so we can solve now the third quartile so using calculator to solve for this quartile 3 so this is first, this one is second, this is third, and this one is fourth. So we have first, that's 33.75, then minus 28, then equals, then second, so divide by 6, equals, then third, times 5, equals, then fourth, plus 35.5. So therefore, the third quartile is 40.29. So quartile 3 is equal to 40.29. Then for the fourth decile, so using this formula, so that's k times n over 10 for decile. So first, we need to locate the decile class. So this class is less than CF greater than K times N over 10 for the first time. So we need to solve first the value of this K times N over 10. So since for this aisle, so K is equal to 4, then N is 45, then divide by 10. So we have 4 times 45, then equals, then divide by 10. So that's 18. So k times n over 10 is equal to 18. Then we need to compare this 18 to less than cf. And this less than cf is greater than for the first time. So we have 4 is less than 18. 12 is less than 18. 19 is greater than 18. So therefore, this class is the decile class. So to solve now for the fourth decile, so from the LCB of the decile class, so LCB of the decile class, that's 25.5 plus the class interval, so the class interval is 5, then times k times n over 10 is equal to 18, then minus the less than CF above your decile class. So less than CF above, that's 12, over the frequency. So the frequency of your decile class, that's 7. So to solve now for the fourth decile, so again, using calculator, this one is first, second, third, and fourth. So we have first, that's 18 minus 12 equals then second divide by 7 equals the third times 5 equals then the fourth plus 25.5 so the fourth decile is 29.79 so decile 4 now is 29.79 then to solve for this 85th percentile so using this formula, that's k times n over 100 for percentile. 
So again, we need to locate first the percentile class. So that's less than CF, greater than K times N over 100. So for the first time, so we need to solve first this K times N over 100. Since 85th percentile, so K is equal to 85. So we have 85 times 45 divided by 100. So we have 85 times 45, then equals divide by 100. That's 38.25. So K times N over 100 is 38.25. Then compare this value to less than CF and less than CF is greater than for the first time. So greater than 38.25 for the first time. So 34 is less than, so we have 45. So 45 is greater than 38.25. So therefore, this class is the percentile class. So to solve now for the 85th percentile, so we have this LCB of the percentile class, that's 40.5 plus the class interval, this one is 5. Then times, this k times n over 100, that's 38.25, minus less than cf above the percentile class, so above, that's 34. Over the frequency, so the frequency of the percentile class, that's 11. So to solve now, for the 85th percentile, so using calculator, this one is first, second, third, and fourth. So we have first, that's 38.25 minus 34 equals, then second divided by 11 equals, then third times 5 equals, then the fourth plus 40.5. So that's 42.43. So the 85th percentile is equal to 42.43.